Alright, so hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, I'm finally feeling kind of prepared to take on the IAF here. So, yeah, these, these are the guys I'm going to be bringing. Strega, Locke, and, and Gao. Let's go in the airship for a second. Probably shouldn't use the fast forward button there, but... Um, so yeah, I've got... I've got Locke stacked for as much speed as possible, because he's going to be summoning Siren. He's the character I can get the most speed on, uh, 51, as well as Haste to boot, so... He he's going about as fast as anyone's going to get at this point in the game, at this level. Which is important, because he needs to outspeed the uh, those IAF guys as often as possible. Which, unfortunately, doesn't happen as often as I'd like it. I could bring Cyan instead of Locke, and summon Siren with Gao, and that would be a tad easier, I think. But the downside is that I wouldn't get this plus two magic power bonus that will probably come in handy for several other fights, most notably, probably, at my weapon. So, and he's no slouch either, so I don't want to shaft that fight in preparation for this one. So, uh, I'm going to deal with Locke coming with me instead of Cyan. The downside to this is that Locke may or may not gain an extra level. If you notice that uh, his, Locke's EXP requirement is 384 for the next level, and if the first fight has contains three enemies, and I won't be able to discern either way, Locke's going to end up with uh, <coughs> an extra fight's worth of eight of VXP. Gao's also gonna probably end up at level 13, unless if every single fight is uh, two of those guys. So, that's unfortunate when he could be level 12, but that requires a ridiculous luck, amount of luck whether you have your eyes open or closed, unless you're using like Palador trick or some reverse Palador trick, but I'm not going to be doing anything ridiculous like that, so... I wouldn't even... I mean, considering we, I don't even have Paldor to summon, I wouldn't even want to do that in a regular run. That would be way too luck-reliant. But... Uh, there's also a possibility that Gat will end up at level 14 if uh, the, all of the fights contain three enemies, but that's equally unlikely as him ending up at level 12, so... Preferably all the fights would contain two enemies, but... So that I end up as low as level as possible, but I'm not going to nickel and dime myself in the levels here. If Locke ends up at level 7 and Gao ends up at level 14, I'm not going to worry too harshly about that, because it doesn't make a humongous difference. So yeah, I think that's about just about all there is to say about that. I'm going to... Uh, make... The, I'm going to record the rest of it separately because I don't want to repeat that spiel again every single time I go and do this, which will probably be quite a few times because this is kind of luck reliant. So, see you in a couple seconds for you and a long time for me. Alright, getting Siren off is nice, but van getting Vanish off first is the real trick here. Dang it. Oh. Strago isn't dead. So that means Locke died. Okay, uh, I can still win this within reason. Potion, Tincture, no, stop being an idiot, Potion, Phoenix down, Scow, Survive Lock. This is 
Drago Potion Lock. This must be Lock. Rage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, let's just defend. I don't know which one's which. I mean, I guess it would behoove me to figure it out, but... Okay, this is someone's uh, item menu. Okay, that was lock. Alright, so this is Strago. Let's stick him on the fight as well. And now let's put them put Lock back to defending for the moment. This means I don't get my free battle with uh, Vanish on Lock, but I guess I'll have to look at that. Oh, okay, I was certainly not getting anywhere by punching the helicopters. Generally not a useful tactic, sorry to say. For all those helicopter punching enthusiasts out there. The weird thing with the Spitfire, uh, at least I think that's the orange one, the darker orange one anyway, it seems to sit there for a very long time if it doesn't do anything right away. Alright, let's just keep skipping through the menus so that I can make sure when it's dead. Or I can just attack it. <laughs> Lock actually managed to finish it off too. What a coincidence. Now it's menu trick because I don't want to miss out. Potion? Well, yeah. It makes sense that Locke would have gained a level there because it was the three enemy battle and I knew that. Alright, so everyone's gotten tinctured up. Time for battle two. Made it through like one of them. Lost that fight pretty much out of the way. Just have Strago heal himself to get himself killed. So otherwise he's invincible here. It's just kind of ironic that way, but hmm? What menu are you in? Now, uh, Strago can be attacking Block as well. Or not? What's going on? Don't tell me I... Yeah, I was trying to do that with Gao. Alright, since I messed that up royally, I gotta go back up to the top of this rage menu. Hit yourself, Locke. I swear I'm not 100% sure how Strago managed to die so quickly, but I'll take it.
Now if only Locke could die as quickly as Strago did. Learn from you, Elder Slock. Locke's just kind of taking it. But maybe he's finally stopped taking it, because... I don't hear anything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, giant thunderbolts of doom. So battle 2 is essentially over. makes no sense that that would have been the end of the fight. I think I only heard two enemies die there, which is a good thing, because it means I got my two enemy battle and Gal won't be gaining an extra level. Nope. Never mind. They just really like to sit there long, a lot of the time, except when right at the start, when I need to get a turn right away. That's the time when they want to jump out of their pants and start murdering my face off. Sure. Let's just keep everyone up on that MP there. <coughs> I care more about not messing up. Oops. I care more about not messing up in this segment than I do in. Alright, on to battle three. What did I. I think Strago just got owned by Propeller. Whatever. I can't complain. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna complain, that was a very good thing. And did Locke just also get murdered by Propeller? <laughs> well, that worked out pretty well, I must say. So this is the end of Battle 3, and uh, the beginning of Battle 4, and I'm announcing that every single time to make sure that I know which battle I'm on. Battle 4, and why do I keep opening my menu? There's no need to menu trick here. Oh no. I forgot that lock was still on magic. He. Okay, I did not deserve that, but whatever. Whew. That could have been really, really bad. <coughs> I knew I was going to make that mistake. I just knew it, but... It's kind of one of those things that it's hard to watch out for sometimes. Just kind of muscle memory that. I find it funny how long it takes to kill myself <laughs> when I'm trying to, and then it's always so short to die when I'm not. I shouldn't say always. It's the end of Battle 4. It will be the start of Battle 5. One guy dead.
Alright, so either Gauss charging up again, or we're getting a... Yep, it was Gauss Bar charging up again. No something curious approaches message this time. Most of that happens after the last battle. I don't remember. But Gauss gone back into punch the things mode, so... Battle 4 will be the start of Battle 5. What the... Alright, so what just happened? Did I accidentally switch the positions of Phoenix Downs and Potions? Why, yes I did. Thank goodness I caught that, because that could have been really, really nasty. And of course, the only reason why I'd catch a mistake by that, like that, is the fact that I've made it before. <laughs> so, all right, so that's it for that. Gao is not on magic this time. He's on physical battle five. Not gained a level, but if that hit Gao, that's still bad. If it hit either of the other characters, it's only helping them. So let's have Gao throw a potion on himself. Hmm. How do things like this keep happening? Okay, so Locke and Drago are both alive, I think. <laughs> Unless Drago's attacking the enemy, in which case I think Locke might be dead. Oh wait, that might have been Gao. Let's see, if it is, then I just use some dopey rage. Nope, wasn't Gao. Yeah, I swear if Strago just hit the enemy on the right, so Gal Locke must be dead. I'm starting to suspect that Locke may have been the one to be tech lasered. Or did Strago just die in one hit? Maybe Locke got propellers or something? I'm confused. Very confused. Either way, this must be Gao. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I was probably already on the Aspirin Rage there, but I didn't want to take the chance because I had been messing around in my menus too much already this time around, so. Which makes me worried because uh, I'm not 100% sure where Locke sits. On his and uh, on his menu. <coughs> All right, one more fight.
Alright, so let's do a litmus test. Okay, he's sitting on attack. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Actually, I should have known that it wasn't lock. Strago's turn came up, and then he got propelled, and then Gao's turn came up. Okay, well, uh, that's that part, anyway. Gotta have lock off himself one more time. Alright, but this still isn't over yet. There's still some luck involved in the uh, last of this, unfortunately. Kill yourself. Ultros and Chupon aren't luck based, I just need to not mess up. And thankfully it shouldn't be that hard to do, but I shouldn't jinx myself like that. The Air Force requires a tad of luck though. And... Getting through the floating continent to the save point, which is like two steps away, requires obviously a tad of luck as well. Because if I step on a battle and it's ninjas or it kills me, that's no good. That should be it. <coughs> if that was the end, this one only has two enemies in it. But it's not the end, so it has three enemies. I think Gao may have ended up level 14 here. I'm not 100% certain, but he might have. If he did, it's not that big a deal. I'm not going to restart, but... Alright, let's just make sure, absolute sure, that there's no other encounter here. It's gotta be six, there's only six, and I don't think I miscounted, so... Yep, I just get to sit here all I want. Obviously that's a waste of time, so let's do something. Skills, equip, relic. Actually, let's go back up to here. Select like potion. And all I did with that was reset this cursor to Strago, so I can be absolutely sure of what's going on. Skills, equip, relic. Down to lock. And now I'm not 100% sure which one's the running shoes and which one's the sneak ring, but lock has lost most of his importance at this point. So let's just remove them both. And now on cow. Equip, top. R once, up once, running shoes. Alright, so let's go fight Ultros and Chupon, who should hopefully be in the bag. Alright, listen for when the turn comes up. Alright, so that sets up Vader. Set up a Spearin. If you notice Gao is in the front row, that's mostly for the next fight anyhow. It's one shot from him. And now this is Lock. Two shots from him will probably do Ultros in, but can't rely completely on that, so I gotta keep be aware of the timing with Gao's attacks. Got quite a while with the text here. Nothing's happening. Okay, so Chupon's out. 
Uh, I gotta wait. Thankfully, the, the preemptive strike sets up this whole thing quite, quite nicely. Because uh, I know that I can press one button at the start to skip to Strago's turn right away, have him cast Vanish, and that's gonna happen invariably. And then for Locke, I know his turn will come up next, and after I set Gow to Raging, so I just need to get set up and everything, so... Alright, so Chupon is probably out by now. Let's summon that. Alright, now so long as I didn't mess that up, we're good. So, uh, also... Potion, Phoenix Down, Tincture, Thunder Rod. Alright, so I'm going to be able to get through this using only my one single Thunder Rod here. Base, I didn't want to go splurging out on a million rods and just to blowing them away with them because that's a little bit luck reliant and harder to do. That scared me for a second, but I'm on Vanish, so I should be okay. However, I, I do want to do my precision strike with this rod because the laser gun can use atomic ray until he's below a certain amount of HP. So what I want to do is knock him below that certain number of, amount of HP so that he can only use diffuser and tech laser, which are both lightning elemental. The air force himself only has lightning elemental attacks, and missile bay only has, well, missile and its upgrade launcher. Which means that the conveniently placed Rhinox Rage, which is immune to uh, instant death, which nullifies the missiles, and is immune to light, is absorbing lightning, is completely invincible. So this un otherwise unnoteworthy rage suddenly becomes uh, pretty much a guaranteed win. <laughs> so that's kind of nice, but it's only guaranteed if I get everything set up. If that thing to atomic raise me right away, or I don't have enough time to throw the thunder rod, I'll probably die. Which is why I moved the running shoes to Gao and off the lock. Hopefully with get lock speed re lock speed being reduced from the sprint shoes, is, I mean, uh, sneak ring being taken off is actually even helpful, not hurtful. <sighs> so I hope everything goes to plan, because this is the most luck-reliant part yet left. Theoretically, I could die on the steps of the save point, and I really don't want that to happen, but I would really be a kick in the teeth, but... Yeah, this part's just mostly more waiting. He's gotta be dead kinda soon. I'm getting kinda nervous for this next part. The good news is that it's unlikely to go down south from a mistake, but... At least it seems like Gao's using Gigavolt a lot. Or at least maybe it seems like it because I've been blabbing and not really paying attention. So hopefully Chupon should die soon. Wow, Ultros decided to die soon. Sheesh, Gal, uh, apparently you've been using Gigavolt a lot, but you've been aiming it clear the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Chupon Shrill takes a long time to die. Hit that fast forward. Thank goodness this fireball was stopped by the mute. Maybe I should have mentioned that. All right, here we go. I'll be quiet now. All right, so this is either Strago or Locke, probably Strago. 
Okay, that was luck. So he just uselessly cured himself. Or maybe he cured to himself, I don't know. It's kind of weird if he did, but... This is Gao. One, two, three. And that's a Rhinox. Yes! Okay. As long as I didn't do anything really harebrained. Good, that's the diffuser I wanted. Alright, this battle's just about won. <laughs> now, uh, I don't really want to use fast forward too much in general during this playthrough. However, this battle is uh, scripted to take maybe two or three hours <laughs> if I do this without fast forward. And I already told you why I'm invincible, so uh, let's just go through this bit real quickly. Thankfully the sound won't desync anymore, thanks to my, the fact that I'm using OBS instead of uh, my old uh, Camp Studio recorder. As you'll notice, this will take a while even without... E even with uh, the fast forward, it'll take a couple minutes. And then... Which is how I'm kind of measuring the time it'll take, but... It's nominally going 30 times speed, but the emulator doesn't seem to... On this laptop, the emulator actually seems to run faster than it's supposed to in fast forward mode. So... Yeah, maybe this is more like four hours that I'm skipping through. I'll be able to tell when it's over, theoretically, because the little quick... Bloop, bloop, noises will be cut out, which you probably won't hear at all because uh, I'm probably gonna shove music over this or something, but. <coughs> and the music will change, which I can tell even when uh, it's in fast forward mode, because there are kind of profound differences between the boss theme and the uh, victory theme. Well, Air Force has been defeated. Now I really, really don't want a death here, so do that any trick. Equip, skills, item, save. Alright, shouldn't need to give anybody a tincture, that's foolish. I don't really need it. However, and uh... I don't know who, which character I'm on, so let's reset this. As you can tell, I'm being kind of paranoid here. Down two to Gale, shove him in the back row. Ah, oh, well, I went with that. Level 13. I get a level 7 lock, but it's no big deal. His level won't have impacted anybody else, and he's not exactly the most important character to an LLG, so if he's level 7, it really affects nothing but the numbers. Gao yeah, could theoretically be level 12, but again, that's ridiculous, so no. See you next time when I get to go through the fun, fun part where I get to dodge ninja battles. That, that'll be a real great part of the game. And the best part is, I'm going to have to do this at least once. I mean, at least twice. Of course it's at least once, because otherwise how would I get through? But yeah, it's going to have to be at least twice. Perhaps even three times. The way I'm planning it. But, see ya. Shoot. Is that poorly? Yep, I got restarted.
I forgot to open the menu in between fights. There's another one. I thought that was over. Oh, please be Strago, please be Strago. Uh, probably wasn't Strago. And the chances of Strago, uh, propeller, block, tech laser, slim. Man. This is bad. This is really bad. Probably toast no matter what I do. Wait, did I seriously just have... Oh, wait, that was dead. No. What's going on? Well, that's it. First fight, fifth.